Let us explore further how to write equations for rational functions from given conditions. 5.2 quotient of polynomial functions. Write an equation for a rational function with the properties given. Three examples for us to study. The first one, a hole at x equals to 1 and vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2. B is vertical asymptote at x equals to 5 and horizontal asymptote along x-axis. And C is vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2 and horizontal asymptote along y equals to 3. We have already done similar questions. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question. It is a practice test question for you. And then look into my suggestion. Okay. Let's look into the solutions now. Hole at x equals to 1 and vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2. So, so we have hole at x equals to 1. That means x minus 1 is the factor which is common in both numerator and denominator. Vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2, that means x plus 2, that will be 0 at x equals to minus 2, should be a factor in denominator only to give you vertical asymptote, right? So that's the solution. Next one, vertical asymptote at y equals to 5, sorry, vertical asymptote at x equals to 5, that means the factor is x minus 5 in the denominator horizontal asymptote along x-axis. Along x-axis means y equals to 0 is your horizontal asymptote. So degree of numerator should be 1 less. Let me just write 1 here. So the degree is 0 and 1, that satisfies. Next one is vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2. Okay. So in that case, x plus 2 is the factor in the denominator. Horizontal asymptote along y equals to minus 3 y equals to minus 3, that means the ratio is minus 3 over 1 and the degree should be same, so I should write x here. Do you get the point? Now the degree of numerator and denominator is same and therefore horizontal asymptote will be at minus 3 over 1, so that helps. I hope with these points you are clear how to write equation for a rational function given its discontinuities. Thank you and all the best.